Before a new train enters commercial operation, it must undergo a comprehensive process of testing and certification to ensure full compliance with technical safety and interoperability requirements. This process represents one of the most critical stages in the life cycle of any railway vehicle, bridging the gap between development and regular day-to-day -day operation. Testing of rolling stock is primarily aimed at verifying that all systems function safely and reliably under real operating conditions. This includes the verification of traction and braking performance, running stability, dynamic behavior, noise and vibration levels, electromagnetic compatibility, and energy efficiency. In addition, vehicles must demonstrate correct interaction with the track, catenary, signaling, and train protection systems. Certification, on the other hand, confirms that the tested vehicle complies with the industry standards and regulations. The procedure involves cooperation between several entities from manufacturers, test laboratories, notified bodies, to train operators, and results in the authorization of the vehicle type for operation within the specific railway area. From an engineering perspective, testing is not limited to measuring performance parameters. It also involves the validation of complex interfaces between mechanical, electrical and software subsystems. Modern trains integrate multiple onboard control units, power electronics and communication systems that must operate flawlessly together. Therefore, the testing environment must provide conditions that replicate real railway operation while allowing precise monitoring and measurement. Because such tests cannot be performed on busy main lines, several countries have established dedicated railway test centers where these activities can be conducted under controlled and repeatable conditions. They allow engineers to perform all required trials safely and efficiently ensuring that every vehicle entering service meets the highest technical and safety requirements. Today we will not be discussing all existing test centers, but rather we will focus on presenting the largest and most significant ones. They are not ranked in any particular order, as the goal of this video is not to compare them, but to help you understand this important aspect of the railway system. We will start with Europe, where several such facilities are located. The railway test center Valim is located near the town of Cherhanis in Czech Republic. Established in 1963, it is one of the largest test facilities in Europe, providing infrastructure for testing rail and metro rolling stock, as well as signaling and infrastructure components. The center comprises two closed test circuits. The outer circuit is 13.3 km long, has a minimum curve radius of 1,400 meters, and allows testing at speeds of up to 230 km per hour, while the inner circuit is 3.9 km long, has a minimum curve radius of 300 meters, and supports testing at speeds between 80 and 120 km per hour. Both circuits are equipped with all major European traction power systems, 3 kV DC, 1.5 kV DC, 25 kV AC and 15 kV AC, and a 1.5 km section can be fitted with a third rail power supply for metro vehicles. The site also includes four large test preparation halls, a dynamic testing laboratory, and a power station capable of supplying different voltage systems with regulated output and energy recovery. In addition to traditional running behavior, traction, braking, and noise measurements, Valim is fully equipped for testing and validation of ETCS Level 1 and 2, including GSMR coverage. The facility's testing portfolio covers running dynamics, electromagnetic compatibility, environmental influence, and TSI-compliant validation of rolling stock. Among Valim's regular customers are major international manufacturers such as Alstom, Siemens Mobility, Stadler Rail, Škoda Transportation, CRRC, and PESA, as well as numerous infrastructure and component suppliers. The Wegberg Wildenrath Test and Validation Center, located near Aachen in western Germany, is operated by Siemens Mobility. Established in 1997 on the site of a former Royal Air Force airfield, 
the center serves both Siemens projects and a wide range of external clients, providing the ability to simulate realistic cross-border operations and validate complex train control and energy systems under controlled conditions. The site's main testing infrastructure consists of two large ovals and three specialized auxiliary tracks. The T1 test oval, 6.1 km long, forms the core of the facility and is designed for speeds of up to 160 km per hour. It is divided into two feeder sections, allowing continuous circulation and simulation of European cross-border services every three minutes. T1 is equipped with permanent installations for ETCS levels 1 and 2, ATBEG, and PZB automatic train control, enabling comprehensive validation of train protection and automation systems. Upon customer request, the test oval can be temporarily equipped with additional signal components and even a customer-specific radio block center, ensuring flexibility for national or regional system testing. The T2 test oval, 2.5 km long, features a minimum curve radius of 300 meters and supports maximum speeds of 100 km per hour. It is configured for both standard gauge and meter gauge vehicles and is particularly suited for tram and light rail testing. In addition to the two ovals, the center includes several dedicated short tracks for specific test purposes. The T3 track, 1.5 km long, is straight and level used primarily for braking distance measurements up to 80 km per hour. The T4 track, 553 meters in length, enables testing of curving performance under radii of 50, 25 and 15 meters, while the T5 track, 410 meters long, is a gradient track designed to evaluate traction and braking on inclines of 40 per mil uphill and 70 per mil downhill. All test tracks are fully electrified and support all common traction power systems, with optional third rail configurations of both British and Berlin types. The center also accommodates diesel and hybrid traction testing, as well as the simulation of extreme operating conditions such as voltage gaps, sudden voltage changes, power failures and short circuits. The center's portfolio includes numerous high-profile testing projects carried out for Siemens Mobility, including the Velaro high-speed family, the Ciro regional and suburban units, and Vectron locomotives. In addition to Siemens, the facility has hosted testing programs for Bombardier, Talgo and Hitachi Rail, covering a wide range of vehicle types. The Foray Railway Testing Center, operated by the Romanian Railway Authority, was established in 1978 as the only dedicated railway testing facility in southeastern Europe. Located near the city of Foray, it was originally conceived as a joint experimental base for the Eastern Bloc countries. Following a comprehensive EU-funded modernization completed in 2008, the center now performs dynamic and static tests for rolling stock and railway subsystems. The test center comprises approximately 20.2 km of interconnected track, controlled through an electrodynamic centralized signaling and automatic block system. The main loop is 13.7 km long, fully electrified at 25 kV AC, and authorized for speeds up to 200 km per hour. The small loop, 2.2 km long, is non-electrified and used for lower speed tests up to 60 km per hour and for diesel or light rail vehicles. A specialized serpentine track, 0.8 km long, consists of alternating curves with radii between 135 and 250 meters, designed to evaluate bogey dynamics, lateral stability and curve negotiation. The entire site lies on level terrain, enabling precise measurement of dynamic parameters without gradient interference. Foray Railway Testing Center has evolved into a regional testing and certification hub, supporting both domestic and international projects. It has hosted homologation and acceptance trials for a wide range of rolling stock, including Stadler, Pisa, Alstom and Talgo vehicles. 
The Transportation Technology Center, or JUST, TTC, is the primary railway testing and research facility in the United States. It is located northeast of Pueblo in Colorado and is owned by the Federal Railroad Administration. Since October 2022, the site has been operated by ENSCO under an indefinite duration, indefinite quantity contract covering research, testing, engineering and training services. The TTC was originally built in 1971 as the high-speed ground test center for the U.S. Department of Transportation, intended for the development and testing of experimental hovertrain concepts. After these projects were completed in the 1970s, the facility was transferred to the FRA and repurposed for conventional railway technology testing. The site contains laboratories and about 77 kilometers of test tracks designed to evaluate locomotives, rolling stock, track components and signaling systems under controlled conditions. The most significant section of the facility is the Railroad Test Track RTT, a 21.7 km loop designed for maximum speeds of 266 km per hour. The RTT is equipped with overhead catenary, capable of delivering power at 12.5 kV, 25 kV and 50 kV AC, allowing comprehensive testing of electric traction systems used worldwide. The loop features one curve with a radius of 1525 meters, four curves with 800 meter radii, and a balloon loop used for reversing trains and testing smaller curve geometries. Enclosed within the RTT is the Transit Test Track TTT, a 14.6 km loop designed for operation at speeds up to 130 km per hour. The TTT is equipped with a DC third rail power supply, providing up to 1,150 volts and 12,000 amperes, enabling tests on metro and suburban rail vehicles. It includes six distinct types of track construction, representing conditions typical of various US transit networks, and incorporates gradients of up to 1.5%. TTC also includes several smaller purpose-built test loops for accelerated and specialized testing. The facility for accelerated service testing, completed in 1976, was later divided into the high tonnage loop HTL and the wheel bot rail mechanism track WRM. The HTL, 4.3 km long, is designed to evaluate the durability of track components such as rails, sleepers, switches, ballast and bridge structures under high loads. It is used by a full-scale freight train formation comprising three EMD SD70 locomotives and 110 loaded wagons, each weighing approximately 143 tons, operating at speeds up to 64 km per hour. This program simulates annual loads of up to 140 million gross tons, providing invaluable data on fatigue and track degradation. The WRM, measuring 5.6 km, includes curves of various radii and intentional irregularities to assess wheel-rail interaction, running stability and the effects of imperfect track geometry on vehicle performance. Additional facilities include the precision test track, a 10km segment containing engineered irregularities for studying vehicle pitch, bounce, roll, yaw and sway dynamics. The train dynamics track, 2.7km long, and the impact facility, 1.3km long, are used for crash worthiness and crash energy management testing. The impact installation can withstand forces of up to 13 mega newtons allowing the simulation of collisions between two trains or between a train and a fixed obstacle. These tests provide data for developing energy-absorbing vehicle structures and verifying compliance with safety standards. The China National Railway Test Center is a large and comprehensive railway testing complex in Beijing. Commonly referred to as the Beijing Circular Railway or Huanti, it is currently the only circular railway test track in both China and Asia, and one of the oldest continuously operating railway research facilities in the world. 
Completed in 1958, the center features 38 kilometers of railway tracks, along with a wide range of laboratories and experimental installations. The primary function of the test center is to conduct comprehensive testing and evaluation of rolling stock and railway technologies before their commercial introduction. All new railway vehicles produced in China must undergo initial testing and verification here, arriving via a dedicated connection from Beijing Chaoyang Railway Station on the Shuangsha Railway. The center supports a broad range of testing activities, including performance and safety verification of mainline rolling stock, urban rail and metro vehicles, infrastructure components, communication and signaling systems, and electrification technologies. The internal network of tracks at the center includes an outer loop, an inner loop, yard lines, connecting lines, and loop entry tracks. The outer loop, which serves as the main testing circuit, is 9 kilometers long with a radius of 1,852 meters, featuring a constant curvature section with a radius of 1,432 meters throughout most of its length. The inner loop, approximately 8.5 kilometers long, consists of one straight segment and three curved sections with radii of 350, 600 and 1000 meters respectively. Both loops, as well as the auxiliary tracks, are fully electrified at 25 kV AC, enabling the testing of vehicles under realistic operational conditions. And that's it for today. There are also a few test tracks in the Poland as well as in United Kingdom, Italy, Spain, Japan and France, and a large new testing complex currently being built in India and Singapore. But we believe today's overview was more than enough to give you a clear picture of how and where trains are tested before entering service. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support our work, consider purchasing our ebook, joining us on Patreon, or becoming a channel member. You can also make a one time donation via PayPal. Every contribution helps us continue creating high quality railway content. All relevant links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay on track with Railways Explained.